This video is sponsored by Shockflow and their G1 40 amp two in one portable EV charger. But more on that later in the video. Good morning, <laughs> greetings, salutations. Thanks for joining me for another video. I'm a little tired this morning. Uh, it is 9.49 a.m. Pacific time. I am in Sutherland, Oregon. Uh, I think it's maybe, I don't know, 45 minutes to an hour south of Eugene, Oregon. I am, uh, for the first time on this trip, I have no idea where I'm going. I was gonna go to Bend, Oregon, and then decided I'm on a really tight schedule this, this week and I gotta get back to Vegas for a few days, wrap up a few things there, grab my stuff, and then start heading up toward Colorado for a little bit, as well as then on to Minnesota. But for today, I'm unsure where I'm gonna go. And so I'm gonna go plug in, and then we'll look at the map and decide. I think this week, I wanna try to hit, uh, over the next like three to four days, I wanna try to hit Mount Shasta area uh, in Northern California, as well as go back to Lake Tahoe, uh, and then stop at Yosemite. Those are kind of at the top of my list right now. So I think I'm gonna charge up, Look, we'll look at the map, we'll see what we gotta do here to get to Mount Shasta, uh, probably in the next few hours today, and go from there. It's an interesting handle there. I haven't seen that before. I don't see it on any other ones. Maybe a repair, I don't know. But we're charging, so that's good. <clears throat> One thing I do see right across from me is an Anytime Fitness. I'm gonna look online real quick on the app and see if that one has 24 hour showers. If it does, I may run over there and take a quick shower. All right, so we got charging here. We are getting 32 kilowatt. All right, we're gonna switch because there's something wrong with that handle. Maybe that's the reason. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Plugged into the one right next to it and within five seconds, already up to 180 kilowatts, 200 kilowatts, 211, yeah. Cause we only arrived with 9%. So I was like, why are we only getting 32 kilowatts? There must be something wrong with that handle. You saw that kind of wrap it had on it. I don't know what was going on there. But uh, yeah, we're gonna get charged up here. I have no idea, like I said, where I'm going. So I'm gonna first find out if I can go shower. I'm gonna try to go to the restroom and do all that stuff. It says 50 minutes to 100%. Obviously we're not doing that. It'll probably be more like, well, I shouldn't say that. If I go shower, maybe I'll just let it go. I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna figure it all out here on the fly over the next 10, 15 minutes and I'll let you know. All right, so decided it made sense to go ahead and go shower. So while this charges up, I think it's uh, it says 50 minutes to 100%. We're not going to go that far, but we are going to go shower because it's literally right there. So I grab my bag, got my keys, and leave this here. Be back in about 20 minutes. Actually not bad. So much better. So feel much better. And amazing what a shower will do when you're on the road like this. And when there's one 20 second walk away, you definitely have to take advantage of that. All right, so I decided. <laughs> I'm just gonna go, you can see me right here. There's Eugene, Oregon up here. I'm a little bit south there. And I think it's called Sutherland. And I'm just gonna head straight south down I-5 here and we're gonna head down to Mount Shasta, to that supercharger. That is 152 miles away. Let's go ahead and tap that. That's where we're, I was kind of planning to head toward that way anyways. So might as well just kind of make that as the destination. And if I happen to run into something awesome along the way, I'll stop. 
wants me to go to the Medford one. Why does it want me to go to the Medford one? Remove all charging stops. Why would I need to go to Medford? Oh, I get it. <laughs> That's why. Uh, because the elevation changes and stuff like that, up and down, I mean, we got to go past like Grant's Pass. I'm imagining that that's going to take a hit on the range. So it wants me to stop once along the way because it says right now I'd only arrive with 3%. All right, we're just going to go to this uh, Eureka one. And in California, we're just going to go straight there. No stopping. <laughs> it's also 250 kilowatt, you know, bunch of chargers, no problems. It says we'll arrive with 16%. Well, now it says 8%. Jeez. Well, all right. I'm going to stick around for a few minutes anyways because I got to make a phone call. And then we'll see where I'm at at that point. See what that says. And then we'll try to take off. All right. Finally ready to go. <laughs> I just took a phone call and up to 98%. Uh, it says that I'd arrive at the supercharger in Eureka. Uh, I think that's how you say that. Um, it's 15% is what I should have when I get there. We'll see how accurate that is with all the mountains and stuff. Hopefully very, some very scenic views for uh, for all of us. And let's go ahead and get unplugged and let's take off. And for cost, as I was here for a long time, uh, $21.46, but again, had to go shower over at any time and then when i got back i took a phone call for about 15 20 minutes <laughs> minutes from the supercharger and I just saw this uh, pull off here it's a uh, point to come to so I was like you know what that looks pretty gorgeous I'm gonna stop it yeah I got some pretty awesome pictures too northern California pretty gorgeous Avenue. All right, just getting to the Wairika. I don't know how to say it. Uh, California Supercharger. All right, so just got to the Wairika California Supercharger with 18%. I'm going to hurry up and go get charging. Uh, so we can get out of here and hopefully go do a little uh, exploring around the Mount Shasta area. All right, we are charging up. This is 12 stalls at 250 kilowatt. All right, so we are only 32 miles from the Mount Shasta supercharger. That is... 16 stalls at 150 kilowatt. We probably don't even need to go there. Um, I'm gonna probably look on the map, on the regular map and find out exactly where like the best entrance is for Mount Shasta, best viewing spots will be. And uh, I'll catch up with you right before I take off. All right, so we are up to 80%, 81%. And we are going to head down to just west of Mount Shasta. We're going to Lake Siskiyou. <laughs> right there we're gonna go to that lake so it looks like we have 
37 miles, 37 minutes left, and we'll arrive with 63%. I sat around a little bit longer and decided that I was like, you know what, I might as well sit here a little bit longer instead of having to go to the Mount Shasta one. Then I can actually get there and drive around and explore for a while and then come back and charge when I'm done. Let's go ahead and unhook and head down there and hopefully get the e-bike out or go for a hike or something. All right, let's take a look at that charge right there. That was nothing. <laughs> I've had this happen a few times. It's not nothing. It'll pop up in a minute, like on my iPhone or something. Uh, I don't know why, there's a delay occasionally. That for a view. She's so clever and so strong. Will you really need to? Will you really need to meet her? Oh, Alright, so made it to Mount Shasta. What do you think? Head up there, do a little heli skiing? Did it run on the top of the top of it. In 500 feet, turn left onto Siskiyou Lake Boulevard. Now turn right onto Siskiyou Lake Boulevard. And that actually is a great segue into our sponsor for today's video, Shockflow. The Shockflow G1 40 amp portable J1772 level two charger is light at just over 10 pounds and comes in this sleek black carrying case, which easily fits in your frunk, sub trunk, under the seat, or even in the shallow sub trunk. What's cool about this one is it's a two in one charger. You use it as a portable charger when you're on the road at campgrounds or even like hotels or friends houses that have a 50 amp plug or as a home wall charger in your garage. It's quick and powerful and can charge it 10 times faster than a standard 110 volt wall charger and adds 36 miles of range per hour at up to 9.6 kilowatts when using level two charging. It's IP67 water and dust proof. It's run over proof, lightning proof, not going to test that and operates at a temperature of minus 22 Fahrenheit to plus 122 Fahrenheit. It's got a 20 foot charging cable and it's compatible with J1772 plug-in electric cars and shock flow is nice enough to include their Tesla J1772 adapter, which is sold separately. It also comes with smart charging, which allows you to plug in, but set the time of day or night when your electricity cost is low. So you get the most out of your charging sessions for the least cost. You can of course do this on your Tesla as well. The charger comes with free shipping, a risk-free 30-day return policy, and a three-year warranty. All right, so let's take a quick look at the setup so we can plug in and start charging. The Shockflow G1 comes with the charger, carrying case, wall mount for your home, and user manual in the box. The Tesla J1772 adapter is sold separately, but I'll leave links to both along with any discount codes in the description down below. I'm just gonna flip it up, turn it on. All right, let's go ahead and get it plugged in. Currently available on Shockflow for 30% off at $245. And if there is a discount code, I will make sure to put it in the description below so you can save even more. All right, look at this. Made it here to Lake Siskiyou. Wait till I show you this side too. That's all like forested and stuff. Amazing. Look at 
haven't been, this is Lake Siskiyou at Mount Shasta. Absolutely stunning. All right, so I guess now all there is is you gotta figure out how to fit a uh, kayak in the back of the Model Y, right? Well, that was a lot of fun. Time to dump some footage and then head for Lake Tahoe. All right, so I put everything back inside. I ended up actually bringing this back here. I gotta get a longer 12 volt cord for the Opus uh, 1800 watt solar generator because it doesn't reach all the way up to the front. So I'm gonna have to contact them and get another one, just a little bit longer. Took the battery out of the bike, out of the electric bike and just have that charging right here into the AC. And if we tap on that, you can see right now that we're using 95 watts. And you can see that charging that'll turn green when it's done. So yeah, everything's in there. All right, so I think probably have some dinner and then the next stop is going to be Lake Tahoe. All right, so yeah, I had a lot of fun biking here around Lake Siskiyou and of course around Mount Shasta. And so it was absolutely gorgeous around here and I hope to get back here sometime soon when I have a little bit more time, but I do need to keep things moving. So I think that's gonna wrap it up for this video. I really appreciate you watching. And if you have any other suggestions for places to go, make sure to leave a comment down below the video. But I think this video is pretty much over. So if you enjoyed it and wanna see more like it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you in the next travel quick tip or review video. Thanks for watching.